roll. Roll, roll. change things up and uh, play a game back in uh, like 13 or so. Just gonna move this up a little bit right now. Uh, and we're going to go out here with this Legacy of Cain Defiance. So we're not going to find favorites. Okay, I can run for a save, but I'm sick of those tiny letters and words and interfaces and it's just stupid. I wonder if anybody do that. I need to try. Anyway, I'm bitch. Given the choice, whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire, or to challenge the fates for another throw, a better throw against one's destiny, what was a king to do? can only match, move by move, the machinations of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. Sanctuary of my enemy, the fortress of the Sarafan Brotherhood, deemed impossible for any man to penetrate. <laughs> impossible for any man. <laughs> Deep within these walls, my prey. Mobius the Time Streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester, using living beings as his pawns. In the end, we'd rooted out an entire nest of the fiends. 
Indians, but we had swept that area already. Not well enough, but no matter. We purged every last one of that brood with fire and their souls now raised. Lord Mobius will be pleased. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find him in a forthcoming mood. event of a feast prepared by the Seraphan must be savored.
What was that? <laughs> the touch of water is like acid to a vampire. I had to find another way to pass.
Hilarious. I'm just not used to control this. There's, there's no action. There, there's not. There's just no map right. I don't know. Action my ass. Keyboard and mouse. Okay, center. Let's see.
locked. What a love of doors these pathetic humans have. <laughs> This emblem was unmistakably of vampire origin and designed to enhance the Reaver's power. But this coincidence seemed too convenient. Four Mobius clearly meant for me to find it. 460 frames per second. Don't let him escape! Surround him! Surrender, fiend, and we will promise you an easy death. I could promise you the same, but it would be a lie.
This door had been equipped with a singular lock, requiring an unusual key. Somehow, I would find it. Soul Reavers no enforcement and puzzles. Oh my god.
that. Interesting.
been a long time, hasn't it? No better, <coughs> Mobius. You know why I'm here. Yes. Raziel. You sought to introduce your own pawn into this game. And now he's been swept from the board. By your hand, I suspect. Where is he? Perhaps you should ask, when? <laughs> How humiliating it must be for you to come begging at my doorstep for answers. Enough wordplay. Don't threaten me. You see, I have the upper hand. How remarkable that the great Kane should succumb to the scepter's power like any common vampire. Still so arrogant after all these years, thinking you've devised some brilliant plan. You know nothing. You have read the signs, but missed their meaning. You believe you are that myth of vampire prophecy, the scion of balance, and that Raziel holds the key to fulfilling your destiny. <laughs> but your messianic delusions have blinded you to Raziel's true nature. You have no idea what you've unleashed. There was a time when you might have heeded wise counsel when it was offered. Now, your vanity has made you witless. You will have to learn the truth for yourself. You'll be needing this. So your strength will return after I have departed. But by then, you will have more urgent concerns than pursuing me. Perhaps, when we next meet, you will have learned a little humility. These strange creatures seem to manifest from the very shadows. Mobius's attempt at stopping me was not one of his better efforts. When I found him, it would be my turn to offer a few surprises. Surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is defiance. eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life, the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You are no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can 
see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom. To become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its rewards. And submission is not always what it seems. Short break and whatever, run away, I just. 